Hi there, this is Healing Hands, and I'm here to do your very first tower moment, what should I do tarot reading. So basically, my intention today is um, to do a seven card spread. I already took the liberty to pull the cards just to minimize shuffling and um, you know time because these readings are beginning to get really long and longer and longer. So anyway, we do. I do have the cards spread out. Um, this came up when I, you know, when I shuffled this deck here. So the spread will be number one, number two, number one, number two, number three, number four, then number five, number six, number seven. All right. So number one would represent your foundational beliefs, the principles or structures that are being challenged. What is this tower moment about? That's number one. That's the question. Number two is why did this tower moment happen? Number three, how can I ease this transition from this tower moment? We know the tower moment is usually a time of change and it's unexpected change. It shakes you, you know, to your core. It's like you're not expecting it. So the last thing you're, you're probably expecting that happens. So how do you transition and move on and get yourself, you know, over whatever that um, sudden change was, right? So number three will be um, how can I ease this transition? Number four, what is the lesson in this shakeup? There has to be a lesson, right? There's something you're meant to take away. So we'll try to figure out what is the lesson in this whole situation for you. And number one, two, three, four cards are what we call the structure. So we're looking at the structure of this whole tower moment. Now, the, this is the card number five, six, seven will represent the lightning strike is what it's called. So this is the lightning strike, you know, the issue and how we're going to um, resolve it. So, um... So the, the num number five right here will technically be about release. What do we do? How, what, what do we release? How do we release it? And then number six will be about rethinking. What do we rethink? What, do we, what, what is it that we need to um, change our mindset about or take another look at? And number seven, what do we need to rebuild? I'm going to dive right in. So the first card you have which um, is representing the foundational beliefs and principles, what this tower moment is about. I pulled the tree. It's a number five. So the tree usually talks about health, vitality, well-being, fertility. It can even talk about stewardship. Um, environmentalism and if you look it's a number five right so number five talks about is usually um, refers to the vital connection that we have between the elements and all living things it's a circle you know circle of life so maybe the tree of life will also come to mind it's a circle of life we're all intertwined we're all co-creators in the universe one person what one person does will impact change will make a difference either for good or bad right um one person's action in the environment can cause positive or negative change so this may have to do with somebody's health or their well-being or the environment they live in but talking about needed change number five is usually the number of humanity is the number of independence versatility and daring nature you know like you have Five, five toes, five fingers, five senses, you know, so it's usually called the number of humanity. So this tower moment is related to the tree. Whatever this means in your life, whatever this translates to for you, for your tower moment around all what I just mentioned now. So let me add an additional layer to this reading. I see the seven of, um, is it hearts? Seven of cups right here. 
if we want to take a flip at it and look at it like you know what this would mean in a playing card so this would pro signify this is like seven of hearts right seven of cups in the traditional tarot so it talks of intuition and usually has reference to like maybe um, water sign pisces cancer scorpio but it does talk about you know longevity stability life cycle and it might have to do with somebody in their midlife somebody in their midlife this tower moment that happened the second card is the why did this tower moment happen right why did you experience the tower moment let's take a look at it so this card is the mice card it's seven of clubs which is the same thing as seven of wands which is usually um, fire sign and I'm talking about Aries Leo Sagittarius and if you look at the mice in this picture you can tell they are very very anxious there's anxiety here this can also talk about theft loss destruction deterioration because you know when these guys come in they eat away at your resources and your clothes your money they just keep eating and keep eating they will cause you anxiety they will cause you loss they will cause you misery so why did this happen there was some kind of loss related to maybe your somebody's health um or maybe somebody's vitality or somebody's well-being or some thing that has to do with fertility or the environment um or serving in you know the community in one way or the other so that's why this tower moment happened with i don't know exactly what it is but um take any of the the options that i threw out that i'm getting the guidance for okay so number three question is how do we ease this transition since this tower moment has hit, it's not going, you know, it's not going to be prevented anymore. It's already done, right? So how do you now move forward? How do you ease this transition? What came up for you was the sun card. How can you transition? This is a beautiful card. The sun card, it speaks of vitality, optimism success recovery inspiration victory so usually um this is a 31 here and i'm taking i want to take an um, extra look additional look at this is an ace of pentacles here so ace of diamonds which is also an ace of pentacles in the traditional tarot um which talks about maybe the sensation um and um what i'm picking up is this can can mean good news if it's near like a very positive card so it's near the anxiety card and it's also next to a positive card which is the rider which we're gonna get to in a minute so once the Sun is there it negates any negative or you know um, any negativity around it so this because it, it's it's powerful it's the Sun once you put it and look at where it is in the in the middle of your reading which means it's gonna dissipate all this how do you transition you don't even need to worry about it this is going to trans it's gonna move on smoothly you have the clarity, you have the guidance, you have the illumination, you have the um, the strength, the courage, okay, to move on. Transitioning, I don't see that as being a problem for you because it's surrounded by, you know, it's surrounded by positive and negative and, um, you know, it's all good because the sun is right here for you. So number four, what is the reason for this shakeup? And we got a number one. which is the rider so the rider and i'm looking here it's nine of um hearts which is the same thing as nine of cups 
and talks of your intuition and can refer to somebody in their midlife and water sign pisces cancer scorpio and the writer usually talks about like right um, messages new news that came in the reason for the shake up is it was it a news that came in somebody brought a news was it was it a good news usually the writer brings in good news and it's next to the sun card so somebody brought you good news or brought you a news that changed your whole dynamics the whole dynamic of your life maybe your job your relationship everything just changed suddenly without warning you were not even expecting it okay so this also is, a, is about a visitor coming, you know, ha getting having a visitor in your house, expecting somebody. Maybe you had somebody visit you that um, you found out something. This can also mean movement. Did you change your location? Did you know, like, did it involve any type of movement? Or maybe you found out somebody, you know, <laughs> did some, you know, things that were, they were not supposed to have done. But whatever this is, it is positive for you in this reading. So that's the structure of this whole tower, right? And the, we've looked at the foundation, the structure, and what's going on. Now let's go to the lightning strike, which is these three cards here. The first one, which is number five, talks about what do you need to release? And guess what popped up when I shuffled? The lady card. Maybe some of you need to release a lady. Or maybe some of you released a lady. Has already released the person. And it's brought you peace of mind. So, the lady is the ace of spades. Which is the same thing to the spades is um, equivalent of, I think, swords in the traditional tarot. And so this will be equivalent of um, ace of swords. So some kind of clarity that the rider brought. So whatever you're releasing might require you to release this person. So usually this represents... A lover, a life partner, you know, um, a soulmate, a mother, a sister, a daughter, a friend. It could be a confidant. It could be somebody who has passion for art and beauty. So, the, whoever this is, is what you need to release. Because once you release this... You're facing your success. You see the direction that is facing? Success. Once you let this go, whoever this or whatever this means to you in this situation, whether it was some news or something you discovered or an opportunity that came in, but you're ready to move forward, not minding whatever the challenges are. See, you're not even minding. This guy is looking back. All right? Because he trusts this horse to take him to his destination. So there's forward movement in this situation. Okay? So, since this talks, this is related to like the swords energy, the mental energy, all about thoughts in your head. Maybe you might be going in your head about, should I, should I not, or whatever. Or maybe you're looking for more clarity, or maybe the clarity came in already. But this person here is usually somebody in early adulthood, and it may not be. But that's what usually um, this lady represents in this deck. And it could be um, an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So, your success is within reach. Okay? Just release this and you'll be fine. You will get your sun or your sunlight or sunshine. What do you need to rethink? So when I pulled the garden, I was like, wow, the garden? Rethinking the garden? This is usually a very good card. It's the number 20. 
and additionally it's the eight of spades which is the equivalent also of you know like the swords energy so you see this is the sword energy this is the ace of swords and this is the eight of swords so somebody is all in you know like contemplating or in some kind of mental anguish about this garden so this garden can represent like social media anywhere where there's like you know a group of people that where people interact any special place of gathering like a community a cultural center beauty parlor like anywhere recreation where you go and have enjoyment it could be at a, a bar it could be at the community pool it speaks of the connectedness that we've, we sometimes experience with places people where everyone is pulling their weight equally and we're all moving together so this is what you need to rethink how do we move forward in a collaborative way how do we live harmoniously and peacefully moving forward how do we make this whole situation balance to a point where there's no bitterness and we can all move forward like we were meant to move forward there is the sun right here which means this is a major arcana in the traditional tarot so this speaks of you know like the divine it's it's destiny it's meant to happen it's your um it's in your path to happen so this is usually like telling you this is out of your control so the sun is here you know to illuminate and revitalize this whole situation the final card is what do you need to rebuild and I pulled clouds so clouds is in the regular tarot like the playing card this would be like the king of um, clubs which is equivalent to the king of wands in the traditional tarot and it could be referring to like a fire sign Aries Leo Sagittarius And this talks about the sudden, sudden troubles, confusion, daydreaming. So it can talk about distractions, challenges that we will face or that we face. So in rebuilding this whole tower, You cannot daydream anymore. It's time for action. The rider is here to move you forward with certainty. Clarity, certainty, forward movement in a very, very collaborative manner. In a way that is very healthy going forward. You need to release whoever this represents in this situation for you. In order to rebuild, to rebuild this situation, the clouds will need to dissipate. Because with the clouds, you can't really see. Okay? So, that wasn't a bad reading. Let me pull... Um, okay, let me pull one of this wisdom of the oracle okay let me just pull one okay we pull the never ending story it's number 37 which is number 10 which is telling me this is whole thing is completed you're done somebody should be jumping for joy there's the sun this is complete all the mental anguish with the sword energy 
Okay, this is gonna end. I would like to read what the book actually says, so to get more clarity. So 37, it says this right here talks about self-criticism. So maybe you like to self-criticize and that might hold you back from rebuilding. This can also refer to your ego. Maybe somebody's ego would not let them rebuild this situation. Somebody's ego or pride will looks like it might get in the way of rebuilding this tower. But without knowing that you do have the sun, maybe this reading will provide you the clarity that you can safely move forward and rebuild this structure. So, somebody needs to make an effort and get going, get on the horse and start moving and rebuilding this whole thing. If you think in your situation, it makes sense. But if you've been in a situation where you've been asking yourself, should I, shouldn't I, and this whole region is resonating with you, well, maybe this is the notch that you were looking for. So this can also talk about fear, envy, procrastination, <coughs> taking time and moving this forward. It can even speak of greed and somebody who feels victimized. Maybe you are feeling victimized in this situation and maybe part of the thing that you need to release in order to rebuild. And some people like to just stay and wallow in the past. They keep playing the past over and over and over and over in their head. You keep reminding yourself of your past failures. Are you doing that? Ask yourself. If this is resonating, no self-sabotaging. It's okay to move forward to rebuild this situation. It's okay. The tower um, can happen for good reasons. It's not always bad when the tower happens but tech basically what this reading is telling you also is that this is the time for you to avoid any type of drama when when the never-ending story comes up for you it's telling you avoid the drama at all costs especially when it comes to other people's stuff like we have the community card here <laughs> when it comes to other people's stuff Okay, your sensitivity is on overload. And the best thing to do right now is keep your distance. For now. As a protection message. But if you decide you want to move forward, it does look promising. You have the sun here. Because I feel like once the sun comes in, it would dissipate everything in his environment. If the sun wasn't here and it was something else, it was any other card that wasn't the sun, and we ended with this, I would be like, um, no, sorry, I don't think this can be rebuilt. All right. I hope um somebody resonates with that let me pull a final card um we'll close with a prayer archangel michael prayer card oracle card okay this wanted to flip so i'm gonna take it and this talks about self-respect okay don't ask me what self-respect has got to do with this maybe there's somebody who's messing around with the community property or things in the community or things they have no business doing on social media So, somebody being asked to have self-respect. So, here's the prayer if you want to repeat after me. Dear God and angels, thank you for helping me see myself as you see me. Through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting me. Please guide me to do the same for myself. 
and grant me the courage to speak up on my own behalf. I ask for your protection in all my relationships so that I'm surrounded by loving and kind people. Really good reading. Okay, that's all I have today um, on this tower moment. What should I do? reading that we had today this is the first one i hope you enjoyed it um i hope you know um we can continue doing it once in a while i'm not sure the frequency yet but um let's see how it goes i hope um you can pick up something from this thank you and bye